Hi there, just wanted to send you a short message to let you know that I have appreciated having you in my class this semester. I hope you've gotten a lot out of it. I have graded your final presentations, so you should be able to see the grades for that. I'm waiting on clarification from one thing from the uh, central office at Moorhead before I submit grades, but grades will be submitted no later than Friday of this week. I'm not sure if you can get them or access them until next week. I will tell you, everyone did very, very well this semester. I don't think anyone has any reason to be complained or to worry about their final grade in this course. I will be out of the country for the next two and a half weeks. Um, and I'll be in a place where I may or may not always have access <clears throat> to internet. So if something does go awry, please give me an email. It may be a while before I can return a message to you, but I will look at that as soon as I get back to the country and I will deal with whatever's left on my plate um, that needs to be finalized. Your final projects were excellent. There was one thing that was not always missed, but rather consistently missed by the course, um, for by students in the course and the final project. It wasn't enough for anyone to have to redo grades because you got other things correct, but a lot of you missed the fact that this is a correspondence course that we looked at, but the purpose was to give them advice as if it was a distance course. And because it's a correspondence course, with the intention of being a distance course in our mind, that's not actually what the course designers were designing, but we're going to pretend it was. One of the things that would be most important for you to recommend to the faculty member is that they need to be in compliance with federal law related to regular and substantive interaction. There were a few of you who mentioned that it was missing, but you gave the wrong advice, so you confused faculty to student interaction with student to student interaction. I saw that in a couple of places. Um, so those are different. Student to student interaction is important. It is one of the key criteria of the ECP rubric, but it is not legally required for distance learning. What is legally required is interaction between the faculty and the student. Um, there's lots of ways to do that going back and forth in discussion boards, scheduling synchronous activities or individual meetings, um, or giving feedback to the student on their submitted assignments. The key here is that all of that feedback or all of that interaction has to be instigated by the faculty member. So it doesn't count if the student, if you as a student email me, that doesn't count. What counts is when I reach out actively to you. So um, a couple of you missed that. That might be an area to think about if you want to move into distance learning. I don't think it's going to be a problem in your teaching, but if you get into a position later where you need to oversee that, those regular and substantive interaction laws apply to all distance learning, no matter if it's kindergarten all the way up through grad school. So it's a really important one to master. I hope you have a great holiday season. I know everyone in this class this semester is teaching, so hopefully you get a nice long break. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get lots of rest and holler at me if you need anything in the future. Thanks.